Hey guys, I want to start a series about PopMotion Pure, which is a JavaScript library uh, for building animations uh, and how we can integrate it in uh, React Native. Uh, the timing is perfect because uh, I receive uh, a Twitter message uh, from, uh, from Burak uh, today and he wanted to create this, uh, this animation after uh, viewing my previous PopMotion uh, video uh, and I thought that this is a really simple and really powerful uh, animation that we can achieve using PopMotion so we will uh, use the keyframes and the staggers uh, for the keyframes we will uh, animate a particular set of, uh, of, of circles from scale 0 up to scale 2 and from opacity 1 to opacity 0 and we will uh, stagger uh, the keyframe animation uh, by an interval I already have the project uh, created uh, using Expo uh, and now uh, let's, uh, let's go to the terminal and uh, add the PopMotion library here um, and we can also start by uh, importing the keyframes and the stagger from uh, pop motion. Okay, so this was finished. Let's close the terminal and we will start defining the count for the animation, the uh, number of uh, circles, which is five for for now the duration uh, of the animation for each particular uh, circle uh, in our case is four seconds and uh, we also want to define the initial uh, phase of the keyframe uh, which is going to be the scale zero and opacity is one so this is the initial uh, the initial animation uh, value and in inside the uh, you know what let's also create the animations and the animation is going to be an array of the count length and we'll get the keys and we'll map and we will uh, return the initial phase so we will create an array uh, with five items and assign the initial phase for it and with this method we are going to uh, construct animations it's going to be a method um, that will return this array and we will use it in, in our state to construct the elements and Let's now create the method that will uh, animate things. So uh, let's do animate uh, circles. It's going to be a method and we will need uh, two different uh, things here. We will need the keyframes and we want to stagger the keyframes. And so the actions or let's say keyframes uh, are going to be an uh, for each uh, for each particular item we will uh, create uh, keyframes and keyframes accept a couple uh, the config accepts a couple of uh, attributes and we will use the values the values it's a collection of keyframes and we can define um, like the scale opacity and other things there and we will start from initial phase and we will end up at scale 2 and opacity 0 and uh, we can also pass the duration as a key to the keyframe and we want to loop uh, infinitely and we also want to yo-yo infinity uh, what YoYo does is uh, it says how many times we would like to you'd like to reverse the keyframe so we want to reverse it infinity so it's going to be like a loop uh, with uh, starting from from zero 
and with those keyframes we can stagger them and we will uh, use the stagger method uh, available in pop motion and we want to stagger the keyframes uh, with uh, duration uh, divided by the count uh, interval so we will have the same distance between circles and we uh, call the start method and we will receive the uh, value of the keyframes here as an argument so animations and we want to set state with uh, those animations uh, uh, argument that we are receiving it and here inside the render uh, let's uh, iterate over the animations and uh, first we will have the uh, opacity and the scale as an argument and also the index and uh, return an animated view an animated view um, that will have a key and also style um, the style is going to be uh, circles and the custom one so uh, uh, transform and we will apply the scale that we are receiving from uh, the keyframe animation and also the opacity and let's also create the circle the circle is going to have a background color of gold uh, width of 200 height 200 uh, and we also want to apply a border radius of 100 and position the elements absolute what this does is going to stack each each circle on top of each other uh, and don't forget to uh, import animated and save it we don't have anything on the screen because we're not calling animate circles now and in component uh, did mount uh, we will uh, create uh, we will call the animate circles uh, the keyframes uh, you know what let's do actions so. so now as you can see we have this uh, smooth animation that is going to repeat uh, infinity uh, now let's let's also add the uh, the circle in the middle from the middle and we will have uh, here a view and in this view we will have the text that's saying calling and also let's also import uh, uh, the the font uh, it's let's say uh, font awesome from font awesome we will uh, have here font awesome and this accept the name I think uh, phone and let's see if I misspell something so everything is looking good and also apply a style here styles um, uh, mid circle and uh, I what I would like to create here is uh, a method that will uh, get the circle and it is going to receive uh, as an argument the radius and also the background color and is going to return uh, this object with uh, background color rad radius multiplied by 2 the radius and is not going to have the absolute positioning uh, but here we wanna uh, call the uh, actually let's also apply 
both uh, the position absolute and the circle is going to be get circled and we'll have a 100 and the background the default background color is going to be gold here so we don't want to call every time and the mid circle is going to be a circle with let's say 55 75 uh, pixels and uh, the mid circle actually is going to be also it's going to have the align item center and we justify the content to the center uh, also this one can also have a styles icon and also apply a different style to the text itself so text the icon is going to have uh, a color white and a font size of uh, 42 let's say and the text is going to have the color white as well and a font size of 18 and also apply a different uh, margin bottom to, to this by five so we have okay guys so I think that this is how you achieve you can also change the the count here and you can also change the duration so uh, you'll end up uh, having multiple circles um, I hope that you found it uh, useful and see you in the next one. Thank you.